Somebody please tell me what this man was doing in the background of my video. I might just keep that in the video just because of the heck of it. Alright you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jaleesa and today I am going to be taking out my faux locks that I have had in for two months. As you can see, this is a close-up of the buildup around my faux locks, which is why I decided to go ahead and just take them out. Also, my scalp is sore, but I think this has to do with how they were installed, but let's just get into the video. Alright you guys, so I'm going to be showing you how I took out the first faux lock. I'm going to cut the faux lock in half at this point and then we're going to begin the unraveling process. Um, I just basically pulled on the faux lock until it like unraveled and then I started unwrapping it from around itself. Now I must say that this process was a little bit more tedious. Oh my gosh, it's just hair. I thought this was going to be so much easier. It's just hair everywhere. Okay. So this hair is the hair that was wrapped around the dog on braid. Yeah, help me out. Okay, getting help. Okay. Can you see? I can't see. That's the problem. Okay, I can't see what's going on. Okay, you guys, this is my husband. These are his hands. Um, <laughs> helping me. Oh, it's so sore. It's still sore. I got the other one. Okay. Oh, it's sore. Here, with your finger there, I can't really see too much. So wait, is this... Uh, okay, I'm a little... Conf right, that's what I was trying to figure oh. out, but I couldn't. Okay. I didn't want to pull somewhere. And it was like, is this my hair? Yeah. What is this then? What is this? Is this like build up or something? It looks like it. Can you separate it? Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a close up because I'm pretty sure this is the build up that's on my hair. Okay, so the faux lock is out and it's so much build up around. It's so hard to just separate this. This is horrible. You guys, so this is the build up that's around the edges of my hair oh, oh gosh so yeah taking out faux locks is not as easy as i thought it was going to be but at least we started and my hair is longer than i thought it was oh look at that growth <laughs> Okay, all right, I'm sorry, that was just a moment. All right, you guys, honestly, I really liked my faux locks, but my scalp was so sore due to the fact that I guess I was cleansing my scalp regularly, like once a week while I had them. However, my scalp was just so sore, and I think it was because of the fact that the faux locks were kind of heavy for my scalp so this is the reason why i decided to go ahead and take them out i will be doing a video on things that i wish i knew before i got faux locks because at this point um i feel like you know you have to have an informed decision and i don't really feel like my decision was informed because honestly i don't think i will ever get faux locks again I do think though that the young lady that did my faux locks, I do think that she did them incorrectly. I do think that they were done too tight. So yeah, but y'all didn't come here for that. Let's get back into the video. And give this video a big thumbs up for all the boyfriends and husbands that help us take down our hair when we get these hairstyles. Thank you, babe. I appreciate you.
So what I've been having to do is take out the braid first and then take out the piece of hair that she crocheted to do the wrapping part of the faux lock. And honestly, wait, did you get that other piece I can get up? Oh, it's all out. <laughs> Ooh, my scalp, my hair looks hideous. So, all right, so, yeah, and this was only a couple weeks. Uh, I don't think I ever began full locks again for multiple reasons. This video was mainly about me and taking out my full locks. I will be doing my shampoo and detangling video and how I cleanse my scalp and hair after this. I might just keep that in the video just because of the heck of it because that was kind of funny all right you guys so i've shown you guys like my scalp and everything like that so i'm going to get ready to detangle i'm actually going to put that part in another video so this video was mainly purely just me taking out my faux locks if you want to see me detangle this and how i kind of like you know take out these little knots that i'm having right now um please watch my next video that will be uploaded as well so thank you guys so much for watching in the comments below if you've taken out faux locks please let me know if you've had issues like what i did um with some of this tangling and stuff like that but i'm sure there will be a lot of shedding um because again that's two months of faux locks so um get ready for my next video me detangling and washing my hair after my faux locks all right peace